How's everybody doing? Today I'll be reviewing Touchback, the 2011 family drama fantasy sports movie starring Kurt Russell and Brian Presley, who I think looks like a slightly younger Jim Caviezel. And Brian Presley is the lead of the movie and is also one of the film's producers as well. If you've seen Touchback, definitely let me know what you think of it and let me know what your favorite inspirational movie is. The film also stars Christine Lahiti, Melanie Linsky, James Duvall, who will always be Frank the Bunny to me, and Kevin Coveys from American Idol, who always plays a stereotypical dorky kid in every movie he's been in. And even NFL legend Barry Sanders makes a cameo, but if you blink, you'll miss it. Touchback is written and directed by Don Hanfield, and this is his big screen directorial debut. Touchback is brought to you by the production company Freedom Films, who is also one of the production companies from 2007's horror film Borderland, which also stars Brian Presley. And Borderland is a movie that I particularly love. It's very taut and tense, and if you're into horror movies, I definitely recommend checking out Borderland. Touchback is definitely a touching, inspirational movie. While a good majority of the movie is centered around football, it's more about life and the choices you make. To me, it reminds me of the classic It's a Wonderful Life with a modern take on it and some football thrown in. The film is set in Ohio, and it was filmed in Ohio and Michigan. They definitely laid it on thick with the underdog theme here. The town Coldwater, nicknamed Backwater, is so small that the opposing team has more students in their high school than their town's whole population. The star quarterback played by Brian Presley is raised by a single mother who works at a factory, and the mother's played by Christine Lahiti. Scott Murphy is Mr. Football, and he's the quarterback of the high school team. And the movie starts out with 13 seconds left in the 1991 high school state championship game against the five-time state champs, and Coldwater needs a touchdown to win it all. With only one timeout left, we all know the story here. I was actually surprised at the injury that occurred. While it looks almost silly, I remember a UFC fight with a similar injury. So I know this injury can actually happen, and it made me actually think of that UFC fight, and it kind of made me cringe. All this happens in the first couple minutes, and the rest of the movie is about what happens in life afterwards. After that moment, you fast forward to Scott Murphy 20 years later. A bum leg, beer belly, married and raising a family with two little kids. After being laid off at the plant, he's farming soybeans and driving around a 20-year-old beat-up pickup truck. And I mean, that thing is beat up. It is rusted and falling all apart. He is also a volunteer firefighter and barely making ends meet. And the bank is about to take his home and property because he can't pay off the loan. It's a real down and out hard times underdog story. He is surrounded by a shattered dreams and unfulfilled potential. With trophies and old game tapes in the back of cabinets, and medals in his glove box, and his high school best friend and teammate made it to the NFL, and is in ads for his local bank, and the bank actually has a big standee of him as well. Murphy ends up running into him at his wife's job as a house cleaner at a hotel, and he's now dating Murphy's high school sweetheart. When it rains, it pours. They really laid it on thick for this one in every aspect. From there, something happens which I'm not going to give away. And he gets a second chance to live his life all over again. Starting from right before the high school state championship game, which changed his life forever. Seeing the high school years again, you realize what a great job the makeup department did. It was also very heartwarming to see them back again when they had all these hopes and dreams. And they were just living in the moment. The movie really picks up momentum when he gets his second chance, so to speak. And it never looks back from there. It's very engaging. The leg brace he had to wear after his injury reminds me a lot of the ones from Forrest Gump. And I've never seen a U.S. mail delivery car like that before. No official truck with a USPS logo. Just a car with a sign on top of it saying U.S. mail. Kind of reminds me of a pizza delivery driver. I've also never seen a Jack Daniels bottle look so glorious floating through the air. As a former high school football player, hearing the term suicides made me tense up again. Made me think of all those times from back in the day. I don't think they even call them suicides anymore. It's not PC enough for today's standards. There's an excellent practice montage with a perfect song to accompany the scene. Seeing those high school football moments really made me miss playing football. This movie also really makes me miss the 90s. Especially when they showed the Roseanne show on TV in the movie. The scars on his leg are very realistic. And the medicine that he has to take daily really shows the reality of an injury that severe. If you ever want to know what happened to the kids from Friday Night Lights afterwards, this is it. Except instead of Texas, it's Ohio. But this is basically the story of what happens to kids who grow up in small towns and play football and it ends up being the best years of their lives. Touchback has a plot that we've seen many times before. There are some terribly cliche moments, and it is a bit predictable, but it's to be expected for this type of family movie. That being said, it does a great job of tugging at your heartstrings, and even though the movie has its fair share of cliche moments, and it is a bit predictable, it still comes across as poignant and moving. And there will be people that rag on the fact that the leads look too old in the high school scenes, but that's the case with nearly all movies dealing with the high school aspect. They always cast actors who are a little bit more seasoned and older. And I don't think they were that noticeable in this one, especially compared to other movies. There were a couple unnecessary scenes at the end in the big game, but they were very minor and that's just a little nitpicking on my part. Going into this movie, and even a little at the beginning, 
I was expecting the same tired old cliche ridden movies of inspirational theme that we've seen so many times before, but this one is special. It sets itself apart with its realistic efforts and its heartwarming moments. And the storyline is truly engaging, especially when he gets a second chance, so to speak. The scene with Macy and Scott in the barn when they're talking about their wishes is a really touching moment. It puts everything into perspective and makes you appreciate what really matters in life. Kurt Russell is excellent as always as the pseudo father figure football coach, and he delivers some great motivational lines. Overall, the whole cast plays their part very well, and the casting was great with the veteran actors. Yes, it's formulaic, but the formula works here. Very heartwarming, a movie that the whole family can enjoy. It's definitely one of the best family movies that I've seen in a while. And it's a movie that I can picture TV networks playing every year. This film deserves a wide release. I highly recommend this inspirational family movie. It gets 9 out of 10 stars from me. Go see this one, you'll be glad you did. If you've seen Touchback, definitely let me know what you think of it. And let me know what your favorite inspirational movie is. Leave me a comment down below. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.